Hello everyone, welcome to another video. Today we're talking about Agile again. We're continuing on our series on Agile. And today we want to find out about, you know, when is your user story done? That's basically when do you know you're done? When, when, when is your user story actually completed? The definition of done is what they call it in Agile Scrum. That's what we're talking about today. And I'm going to be giving you some tips as to how to know when the story is done. But before I do that, let's check out a word from the sponsor. All right, gang, so today's video is brought to you by PM Milestone 2.0 Pro. And PM Milestone 2.0 Pro is a collection of over 9,000 product management and business templates that's going to be helpful for you in your next project. So I'm going to link this below in the description section. You're going to come here from the link, click on download template, and it's going to open for you this wonderful bundle of all your project management templates. Right now it's only at $49 and a special offer. And that's a steal for what you're getting. I mean, you're getting so many options, use case, test plans, you know, project timesheets, so many options. There's lots and lots of templates in here so go get it when you do that you're actually supporting what i'm doing here on youtube and i would really appreciate that so go check out the link in the description section to get your templates from pm milestone thank you so one thing you always hear me say is that every company is doing their own thing right everybody's doing their own thing don't think that you have to stick to some book that you saw it in and this is how it has to be. No, everybody's doing their own thing. Agile is very, very dynamic. You can tweak it and bend it and make it work for your organization, your industry, your workflow, whatever works for you and your team, that's what you should do. That being said, um, when your user story is done or your definition of done will depend on a number of different things. So for some companies, their story is done when it's actually been uh, developed, as in implemented, coded, and that is done for them. It's done at that point. The story is done. Everything else that's going to happen with the story is a whole different process, right? So definition of done could be you have written the story. Uh, it's been prioritized by the product owner. It actually got to dev and dev did all of their steps, um, including writing the code, having the code peer reviewed, um, you know, unit tested and all that stuff. And for them, development is done, the story is done. Some people work it that way. Most people though, they say the story is done when it's actually been QA'd, when it's been quality assurance tested. So once the developer is done and he's done all of his unit testing, it gets over into the QA team and they go through and do their testing from a user's perspective. Maybe they do some load balancing as well. There's smoke testing, you know, regression testing, all these different types of testing that they do on these stories. And then once QA says it's good, then the stories mark has done. That's another way that, that the, the done is defined. That this is another definition of done for some organizations. Even yet, some organizations go a step further and they say, not only do we want to have it implemented and unit tested and QA'd, we also want to make sure it has been um, approved by the product owner. So yes, the product owner would prioritize it in the beginning and they would do the testing and they would do the implementation, sorry, then the testing. But the product owner has to see it again at the end and verify that yes, this is what it's supposed to do before you can mark it as done. Okay, and some cases there's the product owner doing this, some cases it's a business analyst doing this. So that's what they do before they actually get to a state of done. In even other organizations, what they do is even if you have implemented it, you have tested it, if it's not been documented, then the story isn't marked as done. So it depends on what the organization is all about. In some organizations, having documentation is of paramount importance because they have to distribute this to other teams. They have to make sure it's all in their, I don't know, their release notes or whatever. So the documentation of this story is the way they complete the story and say, okay, everything for this story is done. So those are some of the ways I have seen that people handle definition of done in their organizations. That's what I've seen in my experience as to how people work through the story and get it to a point where they feel like it's done. 
where uh, it makes sense for their workflow that this is what done should mean. But I will caution you that sometimes uh, you got to be careful when you say a story is done because it could affect your uh, your metrics, your burn down chart, and things like that. So, for example, in an organization where as long as you've actually written the code, it's done, then you see that people can move through the stories very quickly, right? But if it has to be QA, it may take a little longer. But okay, let's say we do implementation and QA is done, you can fairly move through very well and you can look at uh, statistics and make decisions off of that. But if you're waiting for documentation to be written before the story can be marked as done, it might be sitting in there uh, for a long time and not be able to be marked as done. So your, your statistics might start looking, you know, longer, like it's taking longer to get things done. And honestly, documentation is something that you have to do rounds off. So it might, it's just the nature of writing, <laughs> it's just a slower process than, than just checking something that's done or doing a QA test, right? So I would just caution you not to become so obsessed with the process that you have stories out there waiting a long time and they can't get marked as done because they're waiting on something that just naturally takes time, like documentation. I would say I've seen that and I don't think it's a good practice. I think for me personally, if I am running an organization that's using Agile Scrum, I would say as long as the story has been developed and QA tested, then you should be able to mark it as done. You might want to say, okay, it has to be demonstrated like in your sprint demo. You want to make sure that you have actually delivered what the BA or the person writing the story intended. But even if you didn't deliver what the BA intended, that would be a different story to fix it. So do you have to wait for that to, to make it done? You see what I'm saying? So I think once it's QA'd, it should be marked as done. If there's an issue that comes up later on, it either is going to be a new story to correct that um, or some other process. But you don't have to keep the story open for all this time while you figure out what the next process or what the next change would be. Or you get a chance to, to put it in front of a person who can actually verify and approve it. So that's my uh, take on when a user story is done. Let me know what you guys think. Look in the in the comments below, leave a comment down there. And while you're down there, just subscribe and like the video too so that the algorithm for YouTube can push this out to other people who have the same question and don't know where to find the answers, okay? So help your fellow business analysts, all right? So thank you guys for watching this video and I hope to see you next time. Take care, bye-bye.